How you doing? Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent. Want to uh, bring a, another piece of evidence into the situation. This is um, this is a very interesting recording I have. This is you're going to hear uh, a lot of things going on. You're gonna I'm going to introduce some new characters. You're going to hear a new name. Uh, an Inspector Kelly is going to come into the play. Okay, so. Again, the reason, um, okay, there's a, this is, again, the Department of Sanitation, DSNY, they have an illegal 10-ticket quota, and um, there's, there's, you know, rampant uh, discrimination going on throughout the agency, and I brought some of these things to their attention, and this is, uh, this is basically the hatchet job, so in this recording you're about to hear, this is my, um, third quarter evaluation okay so one of the, the the premises one of the main reasons I was fired is that the, the supervisors said that my work was unsatisfactory and they marked all of my three performance evaluations unsatisfactory now the first one we already know that that was fake because I'm uh, Pascal gave a satisfactory and then she went back months later and and crossed that out and put unsatisfactory Then we went to the second one which I don't have any memory of that even ever transpiring so now we're in September apparently and I get I go out I go out on my patrol two out an hour out okay the office the station is in on 131st Street and Park Avenue in Manhattan, so it's way up in Harlem, and, and I'm, I, I guess on that day, I was downtown in the village, so I was about, give or take, you know, 45 minutes away with traffic, and so I got all the way out there in the morning, and I'm doing my job, and, and again, another game of pin the tail on Conti, they call in on the radio, tell me to come back, right, and what you're going to hear is, you're going to hear the evaluation, it's about five minutes, I cut out a lot of the noise, it's a public lynching. You you hear other people in the room, and um, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that uh, again you're gonna hear different names. Burke, Mr. Burke is in the room. He doesn't say anything. The evaluation is led by Mr. Hampton. Now, here here's the big part of it. In this in this recording, I've always said that the the line uh, sergeants Hampton. Fleetwood, Concepcion, Mr. Dumphy, uh, all of these sergeants were taking orders from Amiskita, Pepe, and their orders were coming from Pascal and Burke. And now we find out as well that it's, it is also another name in there, Kelly, Inspector Kelly, who's, I, I believe, a I've never met Mr. Kelly. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he looks like. I've never heard the sound of his voice. But he's apparently above the captains. So you hear it very clearly. You hear that, that Kelly is running this whole charade, this, all the shenanigans that are going on, right? So I'm called into the office. But here's the critical thing to listen for. You hear, you, you, it, it's hard to hear, but Mr. Uh, Hampton, Sergeant Hampton, is basically charged with giving me this unsatisfactory third third quarter evaluation and he's mostly whispering it he's reading something off a piece of paper I don't see the piece of paper but what he says when I call him when he, they they always they're always asking you sign 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 I never signed anything that didn't make sense just out of you know a matter of law if you don't hand me something that I can see and physically possess, then I'm certainly not going to sign it, or you know, because then you're 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 basically you're basically agreeing to it. They'll say later, oh well, you don't have to agree to it. You just sign it, and later, <laughs> yeah, right, All right. So I never signed anything, but you hear Mr. Hampton. Listen carefully. He whispers in my ear. Now I had a decent relationship with Mr. Hampton. We worked nicely most of the time, right? But again, he's a victim in the situation. You hear him say, I'm the puppet. He says, he, he whispers to me when I say, can I please have a copy of this? He says, he says, I'm the puppet. And I say, well, you know, sometimes a puppet has to speak up too. 
right? So we're having this covert conversation while he's being forced. You hear him you hear him read off some stuff and then ask me to sign and I refuse and he leaves the room. Right? He goes into the uh, they're all huddled, right? Uh Amiskita, Nieves, I don't know who else. They're huddled in another room. Or they're basically using Hampton as the puppet to get me to sign this goddamn piece of paper with a bunch of lies on it. Right? So you hear Hampton leave the room and then he comes back and I, I you know still refuse to sign the thing and he says um, basically if you don't sign it you get a another sign another one right <laughs> you get another write-up right so that was the whole thing they knew <clears throat> that basically if they presented me with a piece of paper with a bunch of lies I wasn't gonna sign it right so based on the fact that I wouldn't sign that's grounds enough to do another write-up right so it's it, you know it's a circus it's beyond ridiculous right so but I think the 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 key the key factor here is they wouldn't I never I was never allowed a, a copy you hear me ask for a photo a photo copy and at one point you actually hear me reading the piece of paper that they're trying to because I'm recording and at this point I was I, I believe that they actually knew that I was recording I don't know. I mean, I wasn't really, it wasn't really a secret towards the end. So you hear me reading into the record, right, into my record, what's on this piece of paper that they're getting me to sign. It, it had a wall. These are all of like serious infractions that, you know, didn't happen. They're just, they're just kind of like this whole list of things that you did wrong. And then they try to get you to sign it. You're not allowed to copy. Okay, so... But the, the key, the, the, the killer here is what I've always argued is that the command is flowing downstream, right? And Mr. Hampton, all he did was call, Amiskita calls me in and, and, and Hampton has to stand there and, and try to get me to sign, right? They won't, they don't confront me directly. And when I start to read it off, Right? You hear them start to interrupt because now they understand what's going on. Now they see that I'm, I'm, re I'm not allowed to copy. I'm not allowed to take a picture of the document. So I start to read it into my recorder. And that's when Amiskita steps in and says they try to pull the paper out of the way. You hear him say, well, Inspector Kelly is, has to, <laughs> you know, it's just, a, it's just a circus. This is, this is like, a, you know, an evaluation is supposed to be for the for the good of the employee so here this is you know classic hatchet job and um, you know in the end it's it's it goes right you never hear me lose my temper one of the things that they argued was that I was argumentative I was uncooperative here I'm very uncooperative I'm not going to sign under duress a document that's you know falsified I'm not going to do that so if that's argumentative then I'm guilty but that's not what they're saying. They're saying I'm argumentative in that that I, I refuse to do my job. Right? That's how they twisted it. See, the argument is that I refuse to participate in the corruption, which which that's what it is. You're trying to you're falsifying records, trying to get me out of there because I exposed your corru corruption, because I exposed your quota, Mr. Burke. Right? Because I talked about discrimination in the workplace, Mr. Burke. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, that's the reason. So enjoy enjoy this recording. You might have to squeeze to hear it because Hampton is whispering. But it pretty much says it all that the supervisors are following orders from the top.
Oh, he said one card off? Yeah, he said it was a violation of public health that you got to write up. You got all your write ups here. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Uh, received. If you can give me a complete copy, then. Okay. Otherwise, then I, I, okay. just fair enough. Just give me a copy of what I'm signing, and I'll be happy to mark it received. The puppet's got to speak up too, you know. It, no, I mean, uh, the, you know, in, in, uh, in, in the, yeah, that's the procedure. The country we don't of sign. America. If you don't sign, you get the 249, that's the procedure. Yeah, but I'm willing to sign, but I would just like to copy so that I understand that's what's right. here. So my knowledge is explained at the end. At the end. But if you don't sign, you don't get a copy. So you need to sign. Hey, how are you doing? Um, and where, where you want my signature to? Uh, no, third quarter. This is right here. Right, I'm going to sign, uh, sign for receipt, uh, this scene only. Okay? I'm not going to just sign my name. I'll sign, um, I have, I have seen this and disagree. And then I'll sign. Right? I'll sign the and disagree. I disagree with the above comments. Before you sign, let's make sure. Yeah. All right, that's the best I can do. Yes, 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 yes. No, I don't know what's happening there. I have to bring it back to the I don't know. Is it possible to come up with a little bit? Yeah, I'll be upstairs. I'm right upstairs. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay. Can I, can I at least take a picture of this? Uh, I, I can't, I'm not allowed to see my, I'm not allowed to possess my evaluation. Uh, until the end. Until the end. So I'm, 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 I'm right now I'm in possession of something that says I'll, I'll, training I'll evaluation as the CA Conti was issued complaint. 1481-404, failing to obey a direct order while on snow duty, refused to sign his evaluation. It's satisfactory, then it's crossed out, unsatisfactory, sign. Agent refused to sign. Sick, AWOL. Circus. Disobeyed a direct order from a supervisor during OT was issued a DS 249. See, I can't refused to sign his probationary report. One, two, three, yes, four, five. All right. Well, then speak to him, and then okay. we'll, we'll talk. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, I, I, I've never seen anything like this, where you are given an evaluation to help you understand what it is that the management has with you. No, there's no explanation uh, other than a piece of paper here signed. It. So I can't sign me basically because I can't sign it under duress. I have to take a look at it. All right. 
Okay, signing under duress is illegal. Right? You can't just pull somebody in here in three minutes, sign or pow. All right, so that, that's all. Okay, Mr. Come in. Okay, so what do I do? Go back. Go back. Go back. Uh, I got it right now. Thanks for coming on. I will talk to you. Okay. Okay. Can I can I take a picture? No. Can you take a picture? Top secret. Galaxy something another. Don't discuss anything more because there's a lady here. Right? Nope, I understand that. Can you take a call? That's what you do with me. Call him. 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 Call